was probably gonna go emergency medicine or into emergency medicine. Um, before Liberia though, I thought that path would also take me into more of an international disaster relief component. After Liberia, I actually find myself a little bit more interested in figuring out how I can split my time domestically here in the US to train residents here in emergency medicine once I get to that level, um, but also take the other six months um, and go to a, a teaching hospital in an international setting and also teach emergency medicine in that sense. I was a volunteer EMT for around seven years, starting when I was 16. So my first introduction to practicing any kind of healthcare is really outside of a traditional hospital. Um, so my foundation of medicine was really beyond the walls of a clinical setting, um, and I liked that. I think our job description is one is to meet the patient kind of where they are. Your job is to be a patient advocate um, and really partner with the patient. We are there to make sure that that patient um, is getting the best style of care and the best care that we can possibly give them. A mentor of mine actually told me this and I've pretty much used it as often as I could because I like it and she pretty much said that we are all a lot more similar than we are different. And I don't think you really understand how true that is until you actually travel to the various ends of the earth and you actually see how similar we all are. The perspective of your position and what you are there to do, I think that is the biggest thing that we as Western healthcare providers need to make sure is coming from a correct place. What I mean by that is you're not going there to kind of be the knight in shining armor. You're going there to make sure that the people of that area are being cared for in a way that we believe that they should be cared for, but you're also there to help partner with a developing nation to make sure that they're growing just as we are growing in the West.